Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. What I like to do is show you how to write an equation in slope-intercept form um, given two points. Now, what's nice about given two points is, one, we know we can find the slope very easily, right? Um, however, the y-intercept is not as easy. So um, remember, slope-intercept form is y equals mx plus b, where m represents the slope and b represents your y-intercept. Now, to find the slope, uh, we have a formula for that. And the formula for slope which is our m, is equal to the change in y over the change in the x. Why did I write that as y1 minus 2? You could write that if you wanted to. Um, it doesn't really matter. You could do y1 minus y2 as long as you do x1 minus x2. Um, but I prefer to keep it in this method, in this form, x2 minus x1, y2 minus y1. So now I just need to determine what are my x2, y2s. Well, since these are both coordinates, I just need to differentiate between them. So I'll call these the 1s and these the 2s. So now I plug in a solve. And I have negative 1 minus 4 divided by 3 minus a negative 2. And I have negative 1 minus 4, which is a negative 5. 3 minus a negative 2 is divided by 5, which equals a negative 1. So therefore, my slope is equal to negative 1, right? All right, cool. So I'm going to plug in negative 1 in for m. But now I need to determine b. And to determine b in this case, I'm actually going to use our slope-intercept form. So let's plug in what we know. We know y equals a negative x plus b. The only thing we don't know now is b. So one thing we can do is, when we write the equation of the line, the reason why we need to solve for m and b and not for y and x, because y and x represent the coordinates of any point that lies on the line. Well, since they represent any coordinate, there's no exact number that y and x have to represent. They only represent the y, x and y coordinates for any point on the line. However, in this equation, we are given two examples of points that are on the line. So what I can do is I can plug in these coordinates in for x and y to solve for b. So I will choose this one. You could choose this one if you like. Um, negative 1 equals negative 3 plus b. Notice how I put parentheses around that. It's a negative x. Well, that's a negative, and notice how x is equal to 3. So I have negative 1 equals negative 3 plus b. Add 3, add 3, 2 equals b. So therefore, now I know my y-intercept is b, and my slope is negative 1. So now I can just take my equation, y equals mx plus b, plug in negative 1 in for m, and plug in a 2 in for b. And I can simplify that one more time as a negative x plus 2. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That is how you write a uh, linear equation in slope-intercept form given two points. Thanks.